red. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want to share with you guys my top five tech stocks that uh, I'm buying during this pullback. So, if you have noticed, um, this week um, the market has actually pulled back a lot. A lot of the tech stocks that have been killing it are really starting to pull back. And I mean, from Tesla to Zoom um, to Square, name it, these top companies that have been just killing it. Um, They've seen some pullback. I mean, you expect this with the market. So, um, but the question is, were you ready for this pullback? Because a lot of people were not ready. They didn't see, nobody saw this coming. Um, everybody thought like, hey, Tesla uh, did their split on, on Monday. Apple did their split on Monday. The market just went crazy. Everybody was taking profit. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, things just went crazy. It just went south. Um, I mean, you're talking to the point where um, Tesla is actually pulled back to under um, under five hundred dollars, close to I mean going close to under uh, four hundred dollars, which is crazy. So uh, again, this is an opportunity um, for people to really get in and make some money because usually um, during times like this, what happens is that a lot of people panic. Um, it's just like hey, you have ten thousand in the market, and then you see it, it's down to eight thousand. Most people and inexperienced traders will go in and pull that eight thousand, and you know, take it out and then sit and, and wait. Um, whereas instead of you, you want to buy more during that time. So what I'm doing is, uh, as the market pulls back like this, I'm buying more and just adding to my position. One of the things is I'm actually changing with my strategy is the idea of just buying and holding and watching um, it go up and down, up and down, up and down. So and so, what do you do in, in a situation like that? So what, I, what I'm doing right now is um, my positions that I go in, let's say for Tesla, if I go into Tesla and I'm up, I secure the profit that I feel comfortable with. Let's say I went in at say $400 and it goes to $600 and I'm comfortable, then I'll say, okay, I wanna secure at least $150 in profit. And then I can play with $50. If it goes up to 700, then I'll move my stop loss to say 600 or 650 and secure that profit so that if I get a massive pullback like this, I sell and I'm out. Um, again, that's for, for, for my account that I'm very active with. If you don't want to worry about stuff like this or you know putting stop loss and buying and selling, um, then just go get either like an uh, uh, ETF or index fund, just buy it and let it sit there and, and go with the, with the wave of the market up and down, up and down, up and down. So that's a strategy that I'm, I'm actually implementing and um, I just want to share that with you guys and hopefully you guys can benefit from it because here's the thing. If you think about it, the financial industry, uh, investment industry has always told people like, hey, just buy and let it go and just sit there and sit there and do whatever. And so here's what's going to happen with that money. So you buy, it goes up, you watch it make profit, you, let's say you're up $5,000 in your account and then there is a pullback in the market. It goes down and then it goes up and it goes down. So yes, you're gonna you're gonna recover back, and you're gonna see it moving up. But think about it: if when it was up here, if you had sold, and then when it drops that dip, you buy there, you buy even more. Then it goes up again, you sell, and then you you buy that dip again, just like that. So if you if you were somebody that didn't sell at all, you are not gonna make the same amount of profit like somebody that sold. Because if I have Ten thousand dollars in my account, it goes up to fifteen thousand dollars. I sell and wait for a dip, and it dips. I buy. Now I'm buying the bottom again. I'm gonna write all that profit to the top. But if you just held, it drops down to ten thousand, and then you see nothing has changed in your account. It's going back again up. So you're just sitting there riding the wave. Whereas there's people that are taking profit and buying back at the bottom and going up. So that is an excellent strategy. It's working and I'm still in the face of really completely uh, implementing that with um, pretty much all of my accounts. Um, and just make sure that I'm actually selling when I have to and, and buying when I have to. That's just the basic strategy. So that said, again, I wanted to give you guys a list of my top um, five stocks that I'm buying right now with this dip in the market. So number one on the list is Tesla. I mean, that's a no-brainer. I do have a position in Tesla. I'm just adding to that position. 
because I, I mean I know this little pullback is not going to cost anything Tesla is going to bounce back so if Tesla is down close to over a hundred and something bucks that is just to me that is just a great great opportunity to jump right in at your position and just sit back and wait for it to pop again Number two on my list is Square. They have been killing it um, ever since COVID because a lot of online shopping, so people are using their payment uh, um, platforms and stuff like that. So they've been killing it. So Square is uh, right now down close to about, I think, $30. So this is a great opportunity to jump in and, and put some square in your portfolio and just watch it right. Zoom, uh, Zoom had their earnings call and boy did Zoom explode. A lot of people make a ton of money, but this pullback Zoom has actually really seen crazy uh, pullback. I mean, cause Zoom went close over, I think about $500 and now it's under 400. So you're talking about a swing of a hundred and something bucks, but we know that as, as COVID continues, as this lockdown continues, as more people uh, continue to work from home, Zoom is gonna bounce right back. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah, so I'm buying Zoom, I'm putting Zoom um, in my swing portfolio. Uh, next one is Apple. Apple did the split, gave people an opportunity to get in. Uh, some people got in at 130 something and now it's, it's now pulled back to um, I saw it last I saw it was 119 um, Again, if you have Apple, this is an opportunity to add to that position and average down So you want to dollar cost average yourself down in a, in a situation like this if you do have some extra cash uh, next is a uh, uh, Document sign so DocuSign is uh, again. It's another I'll say COVID stock and when I say COVID stock is a stock that really helped people during COVID uh, because hey imagine that you have uh, office space and you could just walk to your colleague or walk to somebody to your boss and ask them to sign a document that's not going to happen anymore you're working remotely so you need to um, have somebody sign a document DocuSign will help you do that so it's just stock too has been popping their earnings call uh, was today it actually rose up to about 261 and then pulled back now yeah, I've seen this gradually squeezing back up again, but this is another uh, player um, alongside with Zoom that is really gonna you know make some really good changes. Um, so those are the top five. But now I'm gonna give you two extra uh, stocks or bonus stocks that you can actually stay at your portfolio. Uh, Big Commons is another one. This stock came out. The IPO skyrocketed in their I think their earnings call is coming out this month. Um, so right now it's under. Um, so in it gone up to about 160. So this is a great opportunity to just get in uh, big comments, secure some profit there, or just you know get yourself ready to secure some profit because if you get it under $100, uh, when this craziness stop, this stock is gonna pop right back in your face and you're gonna sit there and cry. And this is, again, this is a, a company that's competing with Shopify. Um, it's a big market space. E-commerce is huge. And big comments just recently uh, signed this integration with um, uh, Instagram, which is gonna give them even more uh, you know, exposure in the marketplace as far as their payment service and stuff like that. So definitely check them out. Um, I, I'm gonna pick up some, some uh, big C for my swing account, um, hoping that in the next maybe month or two, it would turn around would be really, really awesome. Um, last one is Livongo. So ticker symbol LVGO. Um, this is another uh, company that's going through a merger with Teledocs. Um, I did a video about that here on the channel, so you can definitely check it out. Um, they're, they're going through this merger and this stock has been really popping. It, I mean, it, it has been a COVID uh, a sensation because they just went from nothing and now, I mean, they were trading close to about $141 and then during this pullback now, it's on, I think like 120 something, but this is another great player. Even though the merger is coming up with, um, with Teledocs, it's still a great opportunity for you to go in, make some profit before that merger even takes place. And I think during that merger, you'll still be sitting in a good position when the merger goes through. So that is another one that you can definitely wanna add um, to your portfolio. So those are my top five. Again, let me recap them here. Tesla is number one, Square number two, Zoom number three, Apple number four, uh, DocuSign number five. And then I added two bonus uh, uh, stocks there, big, comments and as well as Livango, ticker symbol LVGO. So question of the day, what do you think about that list? Uh, were you prepared for this pullback or it just caught you off guard? 
If not, what is your strategy to prevent a pullback like this from catching you off guard? Again, my strategy is securing profit with the use of a stop loss. If you are up, let's say $1,000, you feel comfortable, put a stop loss to secure at least $800 of that money. If anything would go down, um, then you can buy back again if it goes to the bottom. So that is a, a strategy I'm using. So let me know in the comment section what you're doing. Um, again, do you think that list is, again, these are all tech stocks, just so you know. Do you think that list is, is complete or you think, oh, there's more that I didn't add to that list? Um, another one that I could have added on the list is uh, MongoDB, which I definitely like. Um, but this right now, I think these ones are the ones that I'm gonna go with. Um, but if you add MongoDB to that list, you can't be wrong with it. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, this is a time where smart investors are making smart decisions because if you're not a smart investor and you're, you're panicking and pulling your money out of the market thinking oh the market is crashing then you probably don't really know what you're doing um you know you suspect but if you set stop losses and collect some profit and then buy back at the bottom you definitely know what you're doing again if you're new and you're learning Hey, we are all students, we're learning. So at least I just want to put this out there so you know exactly how to prepare for a future pullback like this. Don't be a greedy savage because when you see those profits, you're thinking like, oh, it's going to keep going up. The market doesn't work that way. The market goes in waves. It goes up and down, up and down. And when you're up here, make sure that you secure that profit. Don't just think that the profit is going to sit there waiting for you. And, and as always, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're new, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're new and you're looking to start investing, uh, Weibo is currently doing a promotion where they give you two free stocks, not one, two, when you open your account and deposit a hundred dollars, it's free, 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 it's free. So it's at no charge to you. Once you open the account, you deposit a hundred dollars, you would see two free stocks in your account that we was going to give to you. So that's, uh, I think to me, that's a good uh, thing to get you started uh, with your investment journey. And as always guys, stay motivated.